So the Elder Scroll 4 Oblivion Remastered has many issues. For me, the main issue is that the native FSR frame generation is greyed out. I tried various things to make it work without an external mod, but nothing has worked. So as their message says, you will need a decent CPU to run this game. Don't expect too much from this mod if you don't have one. But even though I have a low end CPU with 4 cores, after the mod, I can play the game with occasional freezing. Not because of the mod, but because of the low-end CPU. You can see that whenever my FPS go down, my CPU usage spikes up. So let's fix this. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. So close to 3k subs. So before you install the mod, set the upscaling technique to off. Otherwise your game will crash. The mod will only replace this file. So make a backup of this FSR file before replacing it with the mod FSR file. If something goes wrong, you can move this file to the game location again. There are two ways to enable frame generation in this game. One is OptiFG and the other one is NewCamSFG, known as in-game frame generation. In this video, I will only focus on the NewCamS method because OptiFG has some issues for me. OptiFG is working well, but it has severe input lag. It's unplayable sometimes. I haven't had that issue with the new KMS method. So first open your Oblivion file location. Open the Oblivion remastered folder. Then binaries and win64. This mod file link will be in the video description. The first steps are for NVIDIA users. Go to the NVIDIA folder and extract everything to the game file location. Then open the OptiScaler setup file. You can try other options too, but I'm going with number 3, version.dll. Then for NVIDIA GPU, press 2 and hit enter. Then open the optiscaler.ini file. In the FG type section, set it to new KMS. Save and exit. So NVIDIA steps are done. If you are an AMD or Intel GPU user, think of this dummy folder as the main game folder. As usual, extract everything in AMD folder to the game file location. Then open the optiscaler setup file. Press 3 and for AMD and Intel, press 1. For the third step, press 1 as well. Open the OptiScale INI file and set the FG type to new KMS. Search for NVAPI in the same text file and set this override NVAPI option to true. So AMD and Intel steps are done as well. Make sure to close any overlays if you have them turned on, especially MSI Afterburner and Rivatune. In the game settings, now we have DLSS. The most important thing here is, do not set the upscaling method to FSR. If you do that, the game will crash immediately. That's why I said in the beginning to turn off the upscaling technique. Frame generation will unlock when you choose DLSS. So apply settings and let's go to the game. Right, so as you can see, I'm getting around 70 FPS. The frame graph is broken as usual. If you get more FPS than your monitor refresh rate, you can limit your FPS to make this more stable. There are some ghosting issues when you have a sword equipped and there is some input lag, but it's not unplayable, for me at least. I don't know about you. You can get this menu by pressing the insert key on your keyboard. As you can see, I'm using DLSS as the upscaler. If you enable the OptiScaler FPS overlay, you can see I'm using DLSS inputs to run DLSS. If you have an RTX card, you can use DLSS without any issues. But for me, FSR 3.1.3 gives the best FPS. You can make the game more sharper by using the OptiScaler menu and save the changes using the save INI button. Now you can see I'm getting around 85 FPS. The game feels smoother than DLSS. In top left, you can see I'm using DLSS inputs to run FSR 3.1.3. After I choose FSR 3.1.3, the game input lag is reduced too. I still have this ghosting issue at the end of the screen. It may be because I don't have enough base FPS and I don't know how I can fix it without purchasing new hardware. So I'm going to play for a while because there are reports that the game crashes after 2-3 to three minutes of gameplay. So enjoy. That's it. Until next video. Adios amigos.